Welcome to Royal Telly. I'm Chloe, and today we delve into a significant yet overlooked chapter in a move that speaks volumes. The Royal Family's website has quietly removed a statement originally published in 2016. This wasn't just any statement. It was Prince Harry's heartfelt confirmation of his relationship with Meghan Markle, coupled with a fierce defense against the racist attacks she was enduring. Why does this matter? Well, at the time, Harry's statement was groundbreaking. It wasn't common for a royal to issue such a personal and protective message, and it underscored his commitment not just to Meghan, but to challenging unacceptable behaviors and biases. By standing up against the onslaught of public scrutiny and media mistreatment, Harry set a new precedent for how royals might engage with public discourse concerning their personal lives. To see this statement disappear from the royal archives is more than a simple web update. It's a signal perhaps an attempt to erase or downplay the boldness of such a stand. This statement was a bold stand for love and respect, marking a pivotal moment in their journey. Now, let's step back in time to trace the milestones of Harry and Meghan's relationship. It all began in the summer of 2016, when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were first introduced by a mutual friend. This was not just a casual meeting. It sparked a romance that would soon capture the hearts and headlines around the world. By October of that same year, they were spotted together, which set the rumor mill into overdrive. As their relationship blossomed, Prince Harry took an unprecedented step in November 2016. He issued a powerful statement confirming his relationship with Meghan, not just to quell the rumors, but to stand against the wave of media scrutiny and racial undertones in its coverage of Meghan. This bold move was a testament to his commitment to protect and defend the woman he loved. The next year, in November 2017, the couple delighted their supporters by announcing their engagement. This moment was marked by both joy and a frenzy of media attention, showcasing the global interest in their union. Their engagement interview was a glimpse into their genuine affection and shared values, resonating deeply with people worldwide. The year 2018 was a landmark year for the couple. In May, they exchanged vows in a beautiful ceremony at Windsor Castle, watched by millions around the globe. The event was not just a royal wedding, but a celebration of diversity and modern love. Later that year, the couple announced they were expecting their first child, adding another layer of joy to their journey. However, the path of royal life was not always smooth. Faced with relentless media scrutiny and public pressure, in January 2020, Harry and Meghan made the courageous decision to step back from royal duties. They aimed to carve out a new progressive role within the institution, which evolved into their eventual move to North America. Through ups and downs, Harry and Meghan's commitment to each other has remained unwavering. With their royal exit, what path have the Sussexes carved for themselves? Well, since stepping back from royal duties, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not just moved geographically to the U.S., but they've also transitioned into influential philanthropic leaders on a global scale. The couple's establishment of the Archwell Foundation has been a cornerstone of their post-royal life. Archwell, a name that combines an ancient word for strength and action with another that evokes the deep resources we each must draw upon, reflects their commitment to fostering compassionate communities and building a better world. Through this foundation, they've channeled their efforts into a range of causes from mental health advocacy to racial justice, and from public health to emergency relief. Their focus on mental health is particularly personal and poignant. By sharing their own vulnerabilities and struggles, they've opened up crucial dialogues that challenge the stigma around mental health issues, making it clear that it's okay to not be okay. This initiative alone has touched countless lives, encouraging an open conversation about mental wellness across the globe, Additionally, Megan has been a vocal advocate for women's empowerment. Through various initiatives, she has worked to uplift women's voices, ensuring they're heard where they were previously silenced. This work not only supports women, but also promotes a more inclusive and equitable society. Clearly, Harry and Megan are crafting a legacy on their own terms, focusing on global betterment. Recently, the Sussexes made headlines with their impactful visit to Nigeria. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Continuing their journey of philanthropy and advocacy, chose Nigeria as a platform to promote several critical causes. Their agenda was packed with meaningful engagements focused on the Invictus Games, mental health awareness, and the empowerment of women. 
During their visit, the couple participated in a series of discussions and workshops aimed at shedding light on mental health challenges and promoting resilience and recovery. Their commitment to mental health is not just spoken, it's actively demonstrated in their consistent efforts to bring taboo topics into the open, encouraging conversations that can lead to healing and change. Moreover, the Sussexes took a strong stand for women's rights, engaging with local leaders and activists to discuss strategies for women's empowerment. Their involvement goes beyond mere appearances. They engage, listen, and contribute to developing actionable plans that aim to uplift women in various sectors of society. The highlight of their visit was the promotion of the Invictus Games, an international sporting event founded by Prince Harry for wounded, injured, or sick armed services personnel and veterans. These games are not just about sports, they are a celebration of resilience and the indomitable human spirit, themes that resonate deeply within the couple's philanthropic vision. The significance of their visit was further amplified by the warm reception from the Chief of Defense Forces, underscoring the respect and recognition they command on the global stage. This visit not only underscores their international influence, but also their commitment to meaningful change. Why would the royal family remove such a critical piece of history from their website? In 2016, Prince Harry took an unprecedented step by issuing a statement on the official royal website, confirming his relationship with Meghan Markle and condemning the racist and sexist abuse she was subjected to. This statement wasn't just a confirmation of a romance, but a bold stand against unacceptable behavior, setting a new precedent for royal engagement with the public and media. Fast forward to today, and this pivotal statement has mysteriously vanished from the royal archives. This removal raises several pointed questions about the motivations behind such an action, especially considering its timing. Just days after Harry and Meghan's highly publicized and successful trip to Nigeria, where they continue to champion causes like mental health and women's empowerment, the statement disappears. Coincidence? Perhaps not. This act of removal could be seen as an attempt to rewrite or at least subtly alter the narrative of Harry and Meghan's relationship with the royal family and their global humanitarian efforts. By erasing this significant piece of history, there could be an attempt to minimize the importance of what the statement represented, a royal family member standing up against the press's often harsh scrutiny. It's essential to consider the broader implications of this removal. For Harry and Meghan, this could be perceived as another step in a series of actions aimed at diminishing their presence and impact within the royal framework. For the royal family, it represents a retreat from the momentary transparency that Harry's statement had symbolized. It also might suggest a tightening control over the royal narrative, particularly how members of the family are perceived and how they interact with the world. In the grand tapestry of royal family dynamics, the removal of this statement might be a small thread pulled, but it unravels a much larger story about control, image, and the struggle between personal values and public responsibilities. One might wonder if this erasure is an attempt to diminish their ongoing impact. As we've seen today, Harry and Meghan's journey is one of resilience, love, and dedication to humanitarian causes. From the initial announcement of their relationship to their courageous decision to step back from royal duties, their path has been nothing short of inspirational. The removal of Harry's poignant 2016 statement from the royal website may seem like a small detail, but it speaks volumes about the challenges they've faced and overcome. Despite these hurdles, the Sussexes have not only survived, they have thrived. Their recent visit to Nigeria underscores their unwavering commitment to advocating for mental health, women's empowerment, and more through their public initiatives. Harry and Meghan continue to demonstrate that their success and influence do not depend on royal endorsement, but on their genuine efforts to make the world a better place. Thank you for joining us on Royal Telly. If you stand with the Sussexes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights and updates. Keep supporting positivity and change.